consider this though, that by 2020, over 20 billion objects around the world will be connected. This probably is really going to dramatically change the way we provide healthcare. Let's think about it. When you go out and you're with your uh, providers and you're with your care managers and, and everything, you hear uh, such an array of, of needs. So we're able to really use the technology um, that we have connected with the HIE. We actually are housing 21 servers at this present time pertaining to either whether it's a lab test or a doctor. Uh, it goes through an analysis and it understands exactly what information and how it should be sent to whom. We package it up and we send it out through a Rhapsody engine. It's fair to say that there are a number of organizations that we work with, like the ACO, who uses the HIE as one of its data sources, as well as payer information. So the, the, um, the data warehouses that would be our customers that we're providing that information to would be the aggregation point for some of that. As you think about this future, think about how you would respond to either that or something different, maybe a game, maybe an incentive plan, some other type of motivational structure that suits you. You know, as easy as it is for all of us, and I gather from the questions and my, my colleagues that you're all technically minded folks to, uh, it's easy as is it for us to download an app and pair a, a, a device. Many, many of our patients that are really the best people to benefit from these tools can't do that or it's a challenge. The emergency room admission and the emergency room um, discharge is also very important to some case managers or home health agencies. Um, we did a case study with um, one of our home health agencies and during a one week study uh, we had found that the nurse has saved one hour and 34 minutes in her day just being alerted uh, because her patient was either taken to the emergency room or admitted ACOs, population health management. They're realizing that's where all the information is going and they really want to have the ability to get access to that information in a single connection. With wearables being a term now and I, I, I mobile in everyone's pocket, we're, we're at a point now where some really things are starting to accelerate. Now you have the ability for the quality reporting. You, you mentioned payers. One of the things that we're doing with payers is we're allowing the HIE customers to use the health information exchange to deliver information to the payer as well. We don't do it automatically. We, we allow that up to each individual provider, but we've created a mechanism that allows them to say, I want you to share my lab results um, because we have a contract that, that allows you to do so. As I said, fitting into your everyday life, we all have goals. We actually all want to be healthy. For some reason, as healthcare providers, we remind you that you're sick. You've got to change that. There's an opportunity there to rethink how we position all of this stuff in that way. Personalization, I, I emphasize that again and again and again. We found that if we are able to take in just a few data points about you and turn those into personal messages that we can do things like motivate people to be uh, active that's uh, in a way that's far more significant than a control group. I've been debating healthcare since 2010. Uh, a really important uh, development here just in the past two or three years is the amount of mergers and acquisitions. The other one is Medicare Advantage. And Medicare Advantage is growing and it works and people like it. And I suspect that most every Medicare beneficiary is gonna be a Medicare Advantage member at some point in the future. And lastly, the Sentinel effect, which is something that we use uniquely in healthcare, I think, in healthcare delivery. That is, people respond when they know they're being watched. Thankful to Sidious Tech for inviting me to be part of this big data breakfast. I think Sidious is also a learning organization. And then finally, I think they see the big picture and they're committed for the long term. So that's the kind of partner we want working with a company that I believe is an innovator that helps build things like the ones we just saw and heard about, whether it's HIE, whether it's mobile care, or whether it's the data and analytics, and really is sort of agnostic. 
work with providers, work with payers, and frankly, there's a there's an advantage if you can work with everybody because you you understand the perspective of all the different players.